Welcome to the North Phoenix Suburbanstead. My name is Rich. If you're new to the channel, this is about DIY and testing and learning new skills. It's not homesteading, it's not modern steading, and it's not farming in the city. It's about building really cool stuff. If you haven't done so already, click subscribe and click the bell to be automatically notified when the next video drops. Also, like, dislike, and share the video. It really helps the channel and enables us to produce more cool content. If you've been following the channel, you'll know we've been filming and publishing a series called The Desert Garden and Food Forest. Links are in the description below. While we're working hard to make the suburban set successful, we enjoy having fun along the way. This is the first of several videos about building backyard fun things. From giant Jenga to repurposing wine barrels. This video is about team walking boards, aka Bigfoot racers. We learned about these at a work-related team building event. It's an activity where people had to work as a team to walk forward. The boards were 2 by 6s approximately 10 feet in length. Each person has their left foot on one board and right foot on the other board. Each person also had a rope to help lift the board in unison to take a step forward. It's not as easy as it looks, but it is a ton of fun. Our neighbor has a beautiful backyard. We celebrated his birthday with an outdoor lumberjack theme. There were several backyard fun things already set up, including axe throwing and, of course, giant Jenga. We wanted to contribute to the backyard fun, so we decided to build walking boards for the party. And, as we do on the North Phoenix Suburbanstead, we decided to add some character to the walking boards, Bigfoot style. In addition, we made two sets so we could turn the fun into a racing event. We picked up two 4x8 sheets of 3 quarter inch OSB to make the boards. We also gathered some old red and green rock climbing slings and runners, which we used instead of ropes. We built a template in the shape of an elongated foot whereby we would get four boards from the two 4x8 OSB sheets. We were mindful to trace the templates to maximize the material. And when we were just about finished cutting out the first foot, we broke the jigsaw. Rather than buying a new one, we decided to use the circular saw and a couple of hand saws for the others. And as we do, again, on the North Phoenix Suburbanstead, we learned something. The blade on the circular saw is supposed to be an all-in-one blade, meaning we can cross-cut and rip. Not true. We had a tough go at ripping. Nonetheless, we persevered. We then used various hand saws to further shape it into a foot. Wider at the top and the heel, and we even cut out toes. And the uneven cut lines gave the boards awesome character. Now that we had the four feet cut out, we rounded the edges with a handheld router using a roundover bit. We then wanted to attach the ropes where the person would use to lift the foot. Our first thought was to do it the easy way. Drill a hole in the middle of the board, feed the runner, and tie a knot on the bottom. But it makes the walker wobble. It drags on the ground, and it's just plain lazy work. We decided instead to cut slots on both sides of where someone was likely to put their foot, run the webbing under the bottom, keeping it flat, and then tie the two ends together. But we also noticed that this would likely be rough on the hands. So we cut uh, an old garden hose into 12 six inch pieces. We spray painted them red or green to match the best that we could the colors of the runners. The last step prior to final assembly was to paint them. We could have easily left them unfinished, but we had some old spray paint and thought it would look better. And it did. We then drew human footprints on the boards where we thought people would stand, which were between each of the runner holes. 
We painted them red or green and outlined them with a white silver Sharpie to add definition. We then assembled and tested. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. All right, time for the party. So of course we surprised our neighbor as we carried in these four eight foot long things with runners dangling. Everyone wanted to know what they were for. And you guessed it, they were for team racing. We set up the start and finish lines, randomly assembled four teams of three people each, and began the races. The first race was the funniest. I don't think any of them had ever done this type of team uh, event before. People were yelling, they were stumbling, they were laughing, and even falling over. But eventually, they figured it out and crossed the finish line. The winners of each of the first two races competed in the final race. The winner was the team that was most consistent. Where the other team tried to move fast, the winner was slow and steady. Wicked fun. This has been another production of the North Phoenix Suburban Stead. The next video up, we repurpose a real and used wine barrel into an awesome table. Thanks for watching.